What's up, hungry people? Welcome back to the Starving Chef's Kitchen. Did you know you can make your own mozzarella cheese at home? It's actually quite easy to do. With just a few special ingredients, you can make your own mozzarella in about an hour. Dissolve a teaspoon and a half of citric acid in a cup of cold water and set aside. It's best to use bottled or chlorine-free water for the best tasting results, but tap water can be used in a pinch. Then dissolve a quarter tablet of rennet enzyme in a fourth cup of cold water. Pour one gallon of fresh whole milk into a large pot over medium heat. Use the freshest milk you can get your hands on and something that is not ultra pasteurized as most organic milks are. Otherwise, your mozzarella may not come together. Use a thermometer to keep an eye on the milk's temperature. When the milk's temperature reaches 85 degrees Fahrenheit, add in the citric acid. Use a slotted spoon to gently whisk for about 20 seconds and then keep a close eye on the temperature until it reaches 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Then pour in the rennet solution and use the slotted spoon to whisk the milk in an up and down motion for about 30 seconds. Right away, you should see the milk starting to coagulate. Bring the temp up to 105 exactly and then turn off the heat and cover the pot with a lid. Let the pot sit for 10 to 15 minutes. When you remove the lid, you should be able to see partially formed curds floating in a yellowish liquid, also known as the whey. When the curds are ready to be drained, pressing a spoon into the center of the curds should leave an impression. Next, the goal is to drain as much of the whey out of the curds as possible. I strained mine with a slotted spoon before transferring the curds to a fine mesh sieve. It's super helpful to have latex gloves at this stage so that you can press the liquid out of the curds through the sieve with your hands. I left my sieve over a bowl and emptied the bowl as it filled with whey. You'll need to repeat the pressing process several times until almost no whey is coming out of the curds. When you think you've drained as much as you can through the sieve, empty the bowl and then place the curds into the bowl. Microwave the curds for one minute. You'll see that there's still a good bit of liquid held within the curds. Gently massage the curds and drain out the liquid. Then microwave again for about 30 seconds and then drain the liquid again. You're aiming to get the curds to about 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Start folding the curds over each other with your hands. If it's too hot to do with the gloves on, Use a spoon until the curds have cooled enough for you to handle. You'll need to work it with your hands until the curds start to become smooth and form a ball. If you want to add any seasonings to your mozzarella, now is the time to do so. I forgot to get it on camera, but I added about a tablespoon of fine salt to my mozzarella ball to really bring out the natural cheese taste. Wrap your mozzarella ball in plastic wrap and chill until it retains its shape, or for about 20 to 30 minutes. Once the cheese has set, you can keep it wrapped in plastic and enjoy anytime, or you can eat it right away. I served mine up with tomatoes and basil that I grew in my garden and drizzled it with a syrupy balsamic vinegar. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Let me know down in the comments below. Saute up that like button if this video made you hungry and subscribe to see new recipes every week. Don't forget you can find this full recipe and many others with step-by-step -step instructions on thestarvingchefblog.com. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.